Hey and welcome to PowerJackRepair.net where we fix jacks for 100 bucks total. This is the laptop model Dell Inspiron 15 5000 series P51F. The P51F is says right there, right here under the battery. It also says um, P51F001 in there. All right, so. That's the exact details on this laptop. Today we're gonna replace a DC jack on this laptop and the DC jack is the piece right here. Right here, you see? It's broken in there. And the reason it's broken, there should be a plastic piece surrounding those, uh, those pins. Um, but you obviously, you see the pins, right? Yeah like that. So there should be a uh, black yellow circle. I'll show you how it's going to be, how it's going to look like when we're going to fix it. If this video you don't see an angle of some sort, we got a bunch of other videos uh, on the channel, so you can always uh, always uh, go back to the um, other videos here. All right, so here's what you need to understand. There are three small screws right here right here one two three one two and three they are smaller screws not as long as the screws that go right here for example so if you unscrew this we have a long screw right here okay and there's another long screw that's supposed to be right there and what you do here is we need a small pry bar like that and there is an opening right here which you where you put the pry bar into and you kind of lift it up like that now you need to remove those three smaller screws and set them aside as the smaller screws all right and you got long screw and a long screw right there all right and now you got two other uh, kind of thinner screws, thinner and shorter screws, one right here, one right here, like that, and like that. So those two are only securing the CD-ROM, they, they can't be mounted anywhere else besides, uh, besides those two areas. So what you want to do is you want to remove the CD-ROM, but if it doesn't go like that, don't break the, uh, the pad right here, what you need to do is get yourself uh, a thicker screwdriver and shove it in right here right here so just shove it in there and try to kind of get this uh, CD-ROM out by pushing it here okay there is a special hole right here to push the CD-ROM out. So the CD-ROM is out and you got three screws right here. One, two and three, which are flat and only go right here. So one, two and three. So you set the screws aside. Now what you want to do is disconnect this cable. The way you disconnect that cable for the hard drive is by using something flat and you see that white piece uh, you uh, guide that uh, silver piece under and you slowly flip it upwards like that you see it flipped out now don't pull the cable you need to move the cable upwards upwards and then a slide down like that you see all right so don't damage the cable or don't damage the hinge here you just uh, do the long screws All right, so we set the four screws for the hard drive out and we take the hard drive out but it might not bulge because it sits a bit too heavy right here maybe there is some sort of glue in there so you wanna kind of lift it up like that so we set the hard drive aside 
Now what I want to do next is I want to disconnect this uh, cable right here. So what you do is you put your finger on there. If you have nails, I don't have nails. No, I do have nails. Like that. Take the cable from that uh, speakers out. And here you want to disconnect the wireless card. All right, it's going to come out together with the, this bracket. So this is right. And the, the black wire goes on this end, the white goes on that end. So you just uh, take each wire out one by one. Okay. And um, all of the screws that we're going to unscrew are long screws, so there's nothing to worry about. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we unscrew all of those uh, six screws, we set them aside. And uh, I need to set them aside in a slightly different way, not there, hold on. Here. All right, so all of the screws here are out. So we flip the laptop over like that. And here you will see there are uh, pieces indents right here, right here, right here, right here, and right there. So one, two, three, four, five. You need something flat to guide in. And there is going to be a little mechanism from, from that side. It's going to be sitting like that, so you need to push it outwards. Push it outwards, 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 outwards. And uh, that's going to be like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. And like that. Okay. Alrighty, so flip this thing over like that. Make sure the cables are not extremely bent. And here, what you want to do is flip this guy up. You see where it says up? That means you're going to put it up like that uh, when, when you're going to be assembling it back. Alright, so there is some tape sticky tape on the back, so move it like that, and the flip, not the white piece, but the black piece right here, like that, also lift up the cable, lift up, and it comes out of the guides, and uh, you remove it, alright, so here, you flip this guy over like that, and here, you flip this guy over, and you take the support and one right here okay wonderful Those guys go right here. Now, you see this cable right here? It needs to be guided in to there. And the way you break the shell, I mean, you don't want to break the shell, but the way you uh, break apart the two shells, take apart two shells, is by using a... Oh, seriously? One second, I need to find the um, by using this thing right here. All right, and you guide it right here into this area right here, and then and then hold on. Yeah. You get it right in 
in here. Right in here. Okay. Alrighty. Keep guiding it in until everything is separated. Now what you need to do is you need to put the glasses on. Once you put the glasses on you will see that uh, there are hinges right here which you will probably end up breaking. Okay. Alright, so this one broke. And this one also broke. Alright, this one is it gonna break too. Nope, this one didn't break. Alright, so like that. So make sure those cables are not getting stuck into anything. Alright, so we wanna flip it over, remove all the broken plastic pieces. Those are the hinges. I mean the plastic is so cheap nowadays uh, it breaks easily. That's your jack right there. What you want to do is unscrew the jack. Like that. And let's see if the holder is broken. Nope, the holder is fine. Nope, holder is broken. So the reason why everything broke because uh, because this piece holds the jack in place right there. Let me show you a bit closer. Okay. So you see there is an arm, this arm, which sits on the side of the jack. I'll show you when they're going to be putting it all back, back together. So once this arm breaks, the jack moves too much all around and uh, it basically breaks the pins inside. So the goal right now is to unscrew this guy right here. Alright, so remove the screw here. Remove that screw right there. Like that, this is a thinner screw. And for some reason I got more than one screw in there. Oh, ah, no, there's thinner screw there, thinner screw here, and a thick screw right here. Alright, I'm gonna focus. Okay. Good. Um, keep going. So, make sure this is flippable. Make sure... Uh, here. Let's see if we can flip this guy. Okay, so guide this. Uh, guide this um, magnet out of the rail right there, and see if you can. Guide the VGA cable out. See if you can guide the whole uh, jack outwards. Okay. And now what I want to do is make sure both cables back here. And something like that. Okay. So we flip this guy over and now we have the connection right here. The red is on the side, so you want to mark that the red is right here, okay? And you open up like that, and that's your broken jack right here. All right. Now let me get a replacement jack. Alrighty, so the replacement jack and the cable you can get from the link uh, below and uh, sometimes they're glued too much on the end right there so they wouldn't be coming apart so you wanna see if it fits fine 
Each I think it does. Let me just double check. Yeah, sometimes that too much glue in there doesn't do the justice. Okay, so this seems fine. Okay. So what I want to do is yeah. So it's available at the link below. If you want to purchase them and just insert it like that. Like that. Like that. And what you want to do is remove this. Uh, there is the uh, 3M baking. baking. You want to guide the. Uh, I don't want to guide anything yet. You want to flip this whole thing over. And make sure no cables get damaged in the process. Alright. Set this whole thing out. Alright. And now. I will try to guide it under the uh, under the uh, pin right there, but it's not as easy as you think. All right, so you see how I guided it in under this holder, and hopefully. You're gonna have enough space for like that, okay? And like that. Maybe I should guide it around a little bit more, but I think I'm alright like that. Yeah, seems like I'm gonna be alright. So let's see if this uh, whole assembly gonna be landing in just fine. Mm -hmm. All right, so everything is in its place, and I want to guide the All right, I guided the cable in there, and what I want to do next is uh, Is secure this cable right there, and this cable right there. All right, so perfectly fits. Now you would think that's it, but that's not it uh, because um, this thing once the uh, once the holder gonna be broken again. Okay, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to guide the cable a bit downwards, uh, right here, a bit downwards, so that it won't be overlapping this edge, because that's where the clamp goes back. Make sure your cables are guided exactly the same way as I guided them here. Basically, the magnet should be under this thing. Uh, the cable is guided like that and like that, and it seems to be fine. And this cable is like that. You see how this one has a bit more glue in the back. Again, some of those are coming uh, from China, so they're not exactly factory factory. Basically, uh, what we used to do is we used to sell just this part right here, which you find on our website, and you can resolder the cables from the back of the jack to those cables. But then eventually, you just started to pay. Uh, the people in China to solder the cables directly to the jack, so we wouldn't have to solder all of that. I mean, we solder all day, every day, but uh, we do the systems all the time, so it uh, saves us a lot of time. Now, make sure while you're here that you screw all of those screws right here, right here. Make sure you're gonna screw this guy right here, like that. Okay, and the next thing you want to do is
All right, so we make sure that uh, the plug still goes in. And this is basically right here is the uh, is basically glue that's gonna hold the jack in place on the sides on the on the back so what we want to make sure now is that uh, the type casing gonna slide right in which it won't because we got some hot glue right where we have this hinge right here so let me remove this thing let's put some let's put some glasses on and remove all of that stuff okay did you just see what i removed no you didn't see anyways there was a plastic piece right here right here which goes right there where hot glue is at so i removed it so it would not be uh, so it would still be going in all right now assuming everything's connected here what you want to do is you want to guide those cables and that cable right here into the hole into the hole right there by the way so like that like that and guide those right here and in this spot okay all right uh, those clamps clamp in those two clamps are broken now which you might have more broken or less broken of them so you just clamp it together like that wonderful and let's put a long screw right here and a long screw right there all right now what i want to do is uh, one right here one right there and one right there okay good job now There we go, and we should have two, two short but really thin screws that secure this guy in place and that guy in place. Now, assuming you guided those two wires properly, what you want to do is find the bracket, the wireless card. And you can, if you want, connect the wireless card while it's not plugged in. So you can connect it. What you should do is you just push it in, into the holes. And let's see. Okay. And slide it in there. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. Okay, this one came apart. Like that, okay. And then you put the bracket on top to make sure that the cables won't be going anywhere. Like that, wonderful, good job. So here we connect the the speakers like that by the way i didn't disconnect the uh, video cable when i was replacing the jack even though you could it just sometimes the more cables you disconnect the more chances they're gonna go bad the hinges or connectors so i just try not to disconnect what doesn't need to be disconnected all right so assuming here everything is fine we flip on the other side and what we do is we obviously connect the wires here what i do is i usually put something inside of the guider and get it in the closet 
here I put something like that, guide it in, close it. Right here I put something like that, guide it in, and close it. Okay? Alright, so here, here we have the pro ones, not the ones. So on the keyboard side, we put shorter screws in. Strange, we should have one more screw. Oh yeah, right there. Okay, never mind. So here is one more screw. And now we flip the the hinges that way. We connect the, the keyboard cable like that. Close it all down. And with this one, again, what you want to do is just guide it through. Have a seat like that. Okay. So at the end what you should be able to see is that white line right here. Let me call it the white line. Can you yeah, now you can. You see where it says up, there is a white line right here. That white lines should be looking exactly like this, it should be straight. Here is also a white line on, on this guy. You see the white line? that also should look like that so that means it's all closed down very well here is there is no white line and there there's no white line either okay and now make sure the cables are not bent in any way or are they bent in any way no they, they just fine and uh, I'm just double checking my work. Just gonna go like that. Yep. Yeah. Okay. You lower it down. There is a hinges here which you glide the keyboard into. Again, the replacement jack you could find from the link below. And uh, for this model, you don't need to solder anything. You just click on the link below it and you can buy it, uh, or you could send us the whole laptop, it's going to be 100 bucks to, to replace the jack on it. Alright. Hot glue, hot glue you could find in any, any Walmart. Okay. So that's a long screw, long screw, long screw, long screw. Alright. Long screw. Another long screw. And that's another long screw. So we got another screw right here. And we got one right there. Okay. So when it comes to the hard drive, what you want to do is you want to connect the cable first. Guide it in. Seat it down. Close it down. And only then you want to put down the hard drive. It's going to be much easier that way. Okay guys, if the, if the video was useful, please just leave a like. We don't have any ads running on the channel, the only ad is our company and the, and the parts if you want to buy the parts from us. Here. So it's that, let me find another screw, it was a screw missing right there. I'm sure I have a replacement screw someplace for it. Sometimes it takes a bit longer to find a screw than it's actually to. Yeah. Alright, so now 
hold the screws in place. Let's see if we put the battery in. Uh, put the battery in. And should be. Is it? Ah, it's an aftermarket. Ah, oh, yeah, it's an aftermarket battery. Okay, never mind. So the, the real battery should be sliding in there just fine. The aftermarket battery is more bigger. So we connect this power supply, we power it up, and we connect the the connector right there. And we get nothing. I think there should be a light coming up on the front. Let's see if the ah oh, should the power supply is burnt. Oh, hold on. That should be good. Alright, so we get 19 volts here. We plug it in. Maybe the power supply is bent, no? Okay, I probably didn't plug it in all the way. Uh, we got the white light right here, meaning the battery is charging. So here I disconnected, white light goes away. I connected. So I connected all the way. It should be kind of clicking there. Are we getting the white light or not? We're not getting the white light. Maybe something isn't right with the plug, which I'm probably going to fix in a second. So here. What's the problem? Maybe the battery is charged all the way, so let's see if we can power it up. Press F2. Basically the laptop powers up and works. Powers up and works. Let's see the battery. Oh, okay. So you see that's the problem I was talking about. Um, Right here, you see where it says AC adapter, oh, right there it's known. So 45 watt adapter, and uh, if I wiggle it around, I'm sure the cable is probably bent someplace. So, no, it does, it, it recognizes the power supply, and it's charging, right? Right. Okay. But if it says unknown, I will have to chop off the cord and put another cord on it. I want to screw around a bit more here. Make sure that the cable isn't, is always conducting. Maybe pe people wiggled it too much and they messed up the cable in there. So let's see. Okay, so. You see, adapter is unknown right now again. That's that's what I was talking about. You see, you see, adapter unknown. The reason again, it's unknown because of that third third wire right here. So you see, the minus is fine, the plus is fine, but that tiny wire, that tiny wire right here, that leads to that pin right there in the barrel. Uh, it's uh, it's not conducting the electricity perfectly fine, meaning there is a cable broken there someplace. So what I'm going to do again, I'm going to chop off the cord and put another cord on it to make sure that the adapter adapter going to be known. So if I wiggle it around, let's see, if I wiggle it around, still unknown. Yeah, so let me first try another power supply, my power supply, and see if we're going to get exactly the same error. Alright, so we unplug this guy, and we unplug this guy, plug in my power supply, in. Uh, 
All right, so this one recognizes it right away, right there. So, so yeah, the problem is uh, also I need to chop off the cord, put another cord on the on the on this power supply. All right. Uh, anyways, uh, it's been a long video already. Please subscribe if you want, leave a like. Uh, again, this one recognizes it, the power supply right there. I see adapter recognized. Right there. So, charging. And again, we have power jack repair. Guys, thank you so much for watching. How to replace the plugs, you can watch on any of our thousands of other videos. I'm not gonna bore you with this. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, and you guys have a good day. Feel free to send us the laptop or stop by if you're in Chicago. Okay, thanks.